So for today, we're going to be looking at the solar inspired armor sets for each of the classes. I will be using some of the Eververse armor, specifically the boots for each of the classes. But other than that, everything else is just going to be different pieces with a lot of glows, minimal glows, or just all around uh, solar exotics. So this is my solar inspired armor sets. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, also, if you guys can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. A huge portion of people that come to my channel are not subscribed. So if you can at least like the video or share it, that'd be very much appreciated. And if you think this content's fun enough or dope enough that you want to subscribe, even better. But other than that, let's get into it. So this is my hunter. This is the solar inspired armor set that I made for my hunter. There's a lot of pieces that go into this. So for the first portion of it is the fact that I am actually using Caliban's hand. Part of the reason why I'm using this exotic over any other exotic is the fact that the knives actually glow a really good color. Uh, I would have per I would have put other exotics here like uh, like shards of Galanor. That one would have been a really good exotic to put here specifically with the ornament that has the glow on the forearms. That one would have been really cool with it. But I decided to use Caliban's hand because the knives, the knives is very integral in the solar kit. And I really like that they're orange as well because it also blends well with the gun, the golden gun on the hip. So let's just start from the beginning. First and foremost, we're using the virtuous mask. Honestly, we're using this mask just because of the glow. And that's really it. There's nothing else that I really would compliment about this is it's just the fact that it has glows and i actually like the glows from afar it just kind of looks very sinister uh for the arms obviously we're using caliban's hand uh for the chest piece we're actually using empyrean cartographer so the reason i'm using this is mainly for the glow on the chest piece i didn't want anything too crazy there are chest pieces that we have that have a glow but i wanted to do something that's like very minimal and not like super in your face which is why i like the combination of the imperial imperial cartographer vest with virtuous mask because it's just two slits on the chest piece and then two slits on the side of the chest piece which is why i like both of them for the boots obviously we're using we're using sun apex uh strides this is from eververse like i said i'm using just the just the legs for each of the classes because I feel like they're really good. This won't count towards the Eververse armor set. We're gonna do a separate armor set, probably using the chest piece or helmet or make two videos of just the chest and the helmet because a lot of those pieces are really good. And then last but not least for the class item, we're using Solstice Cloak Resplendence. This is one of the best cloaks in the game. Oh my God, hold on, it's, it's wigging out. There we go. It's one of the best cloaks in the game if you want to like really really touch that subclass feel because this is this this the because this isn't just orange this could be blue or this could be purple uh do note this does not work with stasis though so if you do want to do some one without the glow just put stasis on and there won't be any glow but hunters let me know what you guys think in the comments below the only unfortunate part is that the solstice cloak specifically the blue one would have been much better for this and i don't mean the one without the glow this one right here i actually mean the one with the glow would have been perfect because it actually looks way better but if i remember correctly it was a little bit darker which is why i didn't use it it's this one right here with solar glow and then i i use a dark shader for the cloak just because i'm an edge lord and it's uh that one so yeah, this is why I didn't use it because the red right here. And as you guys can see, the shaders like wigging out a little. So that's unfortunate. If it, if it had retained the orange right here, up here, I think it would have been perfect. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, I, I still think a lot of people are going to be like, this is red, which really goes with the red armor pieces. That's completely fine. Just personally me, I much prefer the actual orange, which to be fair, the cloak that i have on right now is a very dark orange compared to the other ones so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below hunters i think this looks really cool if you're going for a solar look this is definitely going to be something you're going to be wanting to use do note that caliban's hand i will have a uh, review for it because i feel like they're pretty cool but I definitely want to talk about it so let me know what you guys think about the exotic itself in the comments below titans you are up next Titans, you guys ended up getting Lorelei Splendor for your exotic. And honestly, uh, 
it's kind of a no-brainer how good this exotic is this season i just kind of wanted to use it because everyone's and their mom is going to be using this exotic or already is so obviously i'm going to be wanting to use it so again this helmet looks really good specifically with the crucible vermilion this is uh the new ex or the new shader from crucible not to be confused with the other crucible vermilion that we have consider <laughs> i just find it funny that we have two crucible vermilions now but I love this Crucible Vermilion. I will be making a short video of this shader showcasing the colors, what you can do with it and what it does to glows because I think what it does to glows is really, really cool. But again, uh, I will have that video when I have that up. For the arms, we're using the Virtuous Gauntlets, which I actually love these gauntlets. They're like one of my favorite uh, gauntlets to use when I'm using a very small armor look. The only thing is if you want to copy this armor, this whole set one to one, I would actually recommend the Eververse arms for it just because I feel like it looks a lot better uh, to showcase the whole like cracking of the flame because right here you can see fire coming out of the cracks. So personally, I would go with these arms. The reason I didn't go with these arms for this look is a I tend to not like to combine more than one piece of of an armor set with other pieces so i don't like to have like two or more pieces in one set uh i used to be very very anal about it now i'm kind of like chilled back uh even though i'm not using it but the other reason i'm not using it is because i want to showcase the arms the chest piece and the helmets all of them in their own separate sets because i feel like each each piece from all of the classes sets are really good that i can actually make whole full sets from each piece except the warlock the warlock might be a little bit more difficult so that's really the main motivation why i ended up choosing these arms because i wanted to give the other pieces of the of the eververse armors uh their own separate videos if i can do it but yeah i know that was a long explanation but i just want to showcase why i'm not using that those arms even though i would actually be using those arms right here uh, for the boots again, Eververse uh, or Eververse legs. That's I've been using this and it's really good. I love it a lot. My only gripe with it is I wish the there the cracks right here had flames. I think I wish there was just more flames in general because I don't feel like there is enough. Because the ones at the bottom is fine, but up here would have been really cool to showcase a little bit more of that fire. And then last but not least, we're using the Fandala's Iron Mark. This is one of my favorite marks in the game. Uh, unfortunately, it is unobtainable because this came out in Season of the Warmind, which is, uh, I shouldn't even say Season of the Warmind, just Warmind in general, because Warmind was the actual DLC this came out in, and hopefully Bungie brings this back, uh, because it's probably one of my favorite armor sets in the game for all the classes. So, Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love this set. It's probably one of my more favorite Titan sets that I've made for Solar, specifically just because it hits so many points. But again, for those wanting to uh, do this as a one-to-one, -one, just use the Radiant Breaker Gauntlets just because it's gonna showcase the cracks even better, in my opinion, because the boots do not do the, a good job at that. You could actually, instead of just doing that, you can do this, uh, which doesn't look terrible in my opinion. It's just that the I think if you personally, I think if you use boots and a chess piece of the same piece, then you kind of lose that uh, originality, I guess, because then at that point, you're just using a whole set with arms that are different. So that's the only side. That's the only time you'll ever see me be like, I don't like those two. I don't like to combine those two of a same armor set, but like an arm and a leg, sure. Helmet and a chess piece. That one might be a little the same as the chess piece and the legs, but I can make a separate video on that if you guys want. But yeah titans let me know what you guys think warlocks it is your turn and last but not least we have the warlocks which is a different direction than the titan or the hunter i will admit but i actually love this a lot more just because when you imagine solar you kind of almost think like orange red uh and for the warlock i kind of didn't want to do that but at the same time wanted to have like accents of them so we're using the vintage timber shader which is one of my favorite shaders uh, from Solstice, if I remember correctly. No, this is from uh, Christmas. Uh, so the dawning. And yeah, let's just get into it. the helmet we're using is the Solstice hood. I know I'm using a lot of Solstice pieces, 
but if you want to really showcase your subclass in a really meaningful way you're gonna want to get the solstice pieces because of just the fact that you have a free glow there uh back in the day you could actually choose the glow but i'm not gonna bring that up because i'm gonna get mad you could use this one the solstice hood i'm not the biggest fan of this one personally i feel like the flames just kind of like bring me out of it but for this one i think it's just right because the glow is actually on the armor piece itself you could also do the other pieces as in the solstice hood from this one or the other solstice hood uh which is this one which is also one of my favorite and i actually was thinking about using this helmet but i decided against it because a the glow is not as orange which kind of pisses me off and b i crutch on this helmet a lot uh specifically the un uh the the one that doesn't have the glow this one right here i clutch the, i crutch this one a lot so i was like i'm not gonna use that one and i rarely ever use solstice hood resplendent which is why i'm using it for the arms i am using the uh sun bracers just because this is like one of the more uh visually solar pieces that that uh warlocks have i was thinking about using some boots the specifically the one that have the feet uh, armor but I wanted to at least some have I, uh, I wanted to at least have some glow to the armor sets. So for the chest piece, we're using Solstice robes. The reason I'm using the unglowed one is because the glow one's a little too much in my opinion. Um, it's a little too much, uh, specifically on the shoulders. I think it's too much, and I didn't want again. I didn't want to have a lot of glow to this piece which is why I just wanted to have the arms be glowy, the helmet be glowy, and even the bond, I'm still thinking like, ah, I don't know if I should have that glowing or not. Boots, like I said, is the Dawn Singer, the Eververse armor set. I love this one because of just how uh, low key the glow is, I guess. Uh, because from when you see it like this, you're like, okay, cool, the helmet has an orange, arms are orange, and then slowly you're like, oh shit, the boots even have orange, and then at the back they do as well. And then for the bond, we're using the Solstice Bond Majestic, which is the other one. Overall, this one is a lot of fun for me personally. Like it was a lot of fun to make is what I'm trying to say. It's just that I think the other ones thematically feel more solar inspired. Not saying this one doesn't. It's just that this one feels a lot of a lot more regal than the other two, I guess. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Guys, that was the solar armor set. Let me know what you guys think. I love each of them. I think personally, my favorite would probably be the Hunter just because of how thematic it is. Uh, I also realized that I did not talk about the shader that I was using for that. So if you guys are interested, that shader is actually the Carminica from Season of the Arrivals. It's one of my favorite shaders just because the glow is actually orange. Just be aware that if you are using that with like cloth items, the cloth has this really gross look to it, uh, which is, isn't a deal breaker, but just be aware of that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What would you guys have done different or do you guys like it so much that you guys are going to use it? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on most social media outlets, links are in the description below. Again, a lot of people that are come to my channel are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, at least like the video. But other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.